Finishing up the servo plates. Here we have the servo plates. These blocks, I'm going to put them in end grain. I cut them with my bandsaw. They're made out of oak. Um, a good hardwood. Um, they're so small that it doesn't matter about weight. But you can barely see it here, but I have drawn the servo in there. And the servo goes right here. I'm going to glue these blocks in here with 5 minute epoxy. And then I'm going to go around the edges of them with some, uh, some heavy duty super glue, some thicker super glue. Not on the inside edge right here where the servo is not going to fit, but on all the way around the outside right, right here. So let's get started. Be enough for all four blocks. It's a little cooler in the shop today than yesterday. So right at 68 degrees in here. We had a very cool night last night, cooled off. Air conditioner worked a little better. Air conditioner doesn't work very well when it's 100, 100 degrees outside. All right, so I'm just gonna put just a little dab there. It's just a little dab in the center. There. Doesn't take much. I think I'm going to nix the super glue idea. Um, I like that. The way it is. Got a fresh stick here, and I'm going to gently scrape away inside bit right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. If there's a pile of glue right here in the corner, your servo is not going to fit. And I made these wide enough to where I can back them off a little bit if I want, but not very much, maybe a millimeter. I just 
want to make sure that everything is flush. Let that sit. You guys want to see what I've been up to? I don't just uh, build airplane or airplanes. I wish I could do it for a living, but I have to do some other stuff. Show you some stuff that I've done this week. I did finish work on that one. <clears throat> Give you a little tour. Got a broken horn. Turkey's ready to go out. About a 22 pounder. This here is a rainbow trout. It's 23 pounds. Which it's uh, 32 and a half inches long. Another antelope that's gonna go out. Just got it done last night. This one here, I still have to do the finish work. Got a few pieces of cellophane sticking out of the nose, and the carding is still on the ear. I put carding on there so the edges are nice and crisp. Carding's come off this one, he's still got a cellophane. I've got a comey mount. I mount them when they're wet, that's why his hair looks a little shaggy. This one here's been combed. That's what I do for a living. Got a pile of antlers to do. Moose to do. A couple elk. I got it still made in this guy. That's what I'm working on. And of course, the Byron. Got these done last night. Everything fits like a glove. I like the way it fits. And then I'll skin it, skim the top of those with uh, Bondo after everything's glassed. I've got to do the work here today and here today. Um, and this thing is ready for glass. I'm going to do a little bit of touch ups. You know, here I've got to take and uh, trim these down right here on both sides. Got to do a little bit of work yet. I love the the fit of this. It needs to be sanded down just a little bit. But I do like the fit of that. I don't like the fit of this one. It's a little bit too much of a gap and it's kind of sticking out a little bit. So I'll fix that one. And I want this all all the finish work to be done on this before I decide to uh, glass it. It's kind of like measuring three times cut once. Same thing with this. Make sure that all the underlaying finish work is done and then you glass it. Makes your job a lot easier in the long run. Just a little update.